the School of Aquaponics. Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. This is episode five of Ask the Aquaponics God. You have the questions and he has the answers. Come on. This uh, question here is coming from Derek out of New Orleans, Louisiana. Let's hear what you got, Derek. Once my aquaponics system is cycled, is it going to supply all the nutrients that the plants need? So this is a really good question for those out there that are unaware of plant nutrient requirements and how um, nutrients are supplied to the plants in aquaponics. So when we're discussing a cycled system, what we're uh, mainly referring to is the nitrogen cycle, the nitrogen cycle that is taking place inside of the aquaponics system. And what happens in a cycle system is it has two key functions, two key functions that, are, that will occur inside of your aquaponics system. The first key function of a cycle system is the supplying of the macronutrient um, nitrogen. And it's usually supplied in the uh, compound form of ammonium and primarily through the polyatomic ion nitrate. And this cycle, or your cycle system allows you to supply these or to meet the plant um, demands or the plant requirement of a nitrogen source in order to um, develop because nitrogen is needed in um, the second largest quantity after carbon for plants and uh, in order for plants to develop. So this is a super, super important f uh, function inside of your aquaponics system. And the second key factor, the second key factor and just as equally important function of a cycled system in aquaponics is the removal of toxins inside of the system um, due to uh, fish excreting um, ammonia, um, uh, decomposing uh, organic material that's inside of your system. All these things are going to release ammonia, which kickstarts the nitrogen cycle, which is going to kickstart the nitrogen cycle. But at certain levels, the ammonia becomes toxic to fish. And there needs to be a process of removing the ammonia out of the system or else your fish are going to die. It's as simple as that. And with the presence of ammonia, that gives an inviting environment for um, chemoautotrophic bacteria to come along and colonize um, surface areas inside of the aquaponic system. And what they do is they take that ammonia, the, the toxic ammonia, and they break it down or they oxidize it and use the electrons as a source of energy in order for them to um, build organic compounds inside of their cells. And what they do is they break down the ammonia, the chemical composition of ammonia changes and then you have nitrite that uh, um, that occurs and nitrite is also super toxic to the fish so th it's the same process that occurs there's other chemoautotrophic bacteria that, um, that that colonize and they're able to do the same thing they're able to oxidize nitrite and then provide nitrate which is almost a non-lethal um, form of nitrogen which the plants are able to utilize in order to grow and meet the uh, nitrogen requirements that the plants have. So this is basically what is going on in a cycled system. So it's applying nitrogen, it's supplying one element, one required element that plants need. It's applying um, nitrogen and also it's creating an environment that is cleaning out and filtering the water, filtering the toxins out of the water that can accumulate and kill the fish. So in turn, you have the fish that are producing toxins, which create an environment for bacteria to grow. The bacteria are creating are oxidizing and breaking down those toxins and then they're creating a usable form of nitrogen that the plants are able to use and uptake and in turn after those uh, the nitrogen is um, uptaken by the plants then the water is being returned back to the fish as clean and then it just starts all over again it starts all over again so there's other nutrients that are required for the plant to grow and this nitrogen cycle is just one of the many but the rest of the nutrients are going to be supplied via fish food, um, uh, fish respiration, um, decomposing uh, organic matter inside of the tank, um, adding um, sources of minerals inside of the um, aquaponic system. This is how you're gonna take care of the rest of um, the nutrients that are required. It's no different from a pond or any type of body, a fresh body of water. It's all the same, it's all the same concept. They don't, the, the natural body of pond doesn't just receive all of its nutrients from the nitrogen cycle. It has rock phosphate that it needs. There's different uh, silicates that are needed. There's a variety of other um, uh, methods that the, the ecosystem is able to, to obtain the rest of the nutrients that the plants need and other sources of um, vegetation need in order to uh, survive and grow.
So hopefully that answers your question. This is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Toodles. <laughs>